وعلى الرغم من أن رواد الفنتك لازالوا يخطون خطواتهم الأولى في منطقتنا إلا أنهم بدأوا برسم علاماتهم الفارقة اليوم سنحدثكم عن شركة تؤمن سوقا على شكل منصة إلكترونية للتمويل المباشر بين الأفراد والشركات أو ما يعرف بالبير تو بير فاينانسينج دون العبور عبر المصارف وللحديث عن الشركة التي تحمل اسم بي هايف أي خلية النحل كنت قد التقيت في وقت سابق مؤسسها ورئيسها التنفيذي السيد كريغ مور وسألته أولا عن بعض الأرقام التي حققتها الشركة منذ انطلاقتها في نوفمبر 2014 I think what we're particularly proud of is that we've helped Uh, fund over 100 different businesses uh, since we began uh, in no from November 2014 and we've helped finance in excess of 50 million dirhams in that time. Uh, in fact we're just celebrating uh, September being our largest month to date since launch so we're seeing a real uh, uptick. هذه الأرقام تعني بشكل أو بآخر بأنكم أتيتم لتسدوا فجوة موجودة في السوق أين كانت تكمن هذه الفجوة؟ I think one of the things we were trying to address is that for a healthy and growing SME uh, economy, what you need is reasonable cost of finance, but also the time to finance is critical. And one of the things that we discovered was missing in certain aspects of the market was the time it was taking for SMEs to get access to finance. So it was our mission to start reducing months down into weeks and days. And I think that's been one of our major impacts in this marketplace. هل هذا يعني أن دافع الشركات الصغيرة والمتوسطة في التوجه لكم من أجل الحصول على الأموال هو عامل الوقت فقط؟ No, it, it, businesses tend to come to us for two reasons. One is the cost of finance. So typically SMEs are saving between 25% and 30% on their cost of finance, which is meaningful uh, to any SME. But it also that time to, fa uh, time to finance uh, factor is critical for a lot of SMEs. And actually, if you look at peer-to-peer -peer in the West, um, sometimes peer-to-peer -peer platforms can be more expensive than banks. The difference is that they're a lot quicker in accessing that finance and that becomes a crucial factor. هل تتوقع بان تقترب التكلفه بين البير تو بير فاينانس والاستدانه عبر المصارف في منطقتنا اسوة بما هو حاصل في الخارج؟ potentially it really depends on which segment you're talking about. So we are focused very much on good quality businesses. Um, and it's really our operating model that allows us to have lower cost, lower overheads in terms of operating our platform and our processes that gives us that competitive advantage from a price point versus conventional uh, lending institutions. لنقل كريغ أنني أنا شخص لديه بعض الأموال على الجانب يريد أن يستثمرها هل يمكن أن أكون أنا أحد الممولين من خلال بي هايف وكيف يمكن أن يحصل هذا الأمر؟ So one of the things we did is we wanted to really engage with a retail investor market. So investors such as yourself could come onto the platform. You can invest into businesses from as little as 100 dirhams. So that allows you to dip your toe in the water, I would say, uh, get comfortable with that process. You, you look at each individual business and you make the decision whether you want to make a bid to lend to that business or not. Uh, and as I said, from 100 dirhams, that allows and makes it very accessible to many different types of investors. Um, the no real maximum, so we have some investors that may put 100 dirhams on, some investors may put 1,000 or 5,000 dirhams on. It really depends uh, on the individual investor. على مدى العامين الماضيين عن اي عائد نتحدث؟ So typically, uh, investors are making around 12%. per annum uh, uh, in terms of with reinvested returns. So think it very much as an APR. So as long as you're reinvesting your monies, then over a year you will make around 11, 12, 13%, depending on individual investors. But of course, each investor gets different rates when they're bidding, and that's part of the auction process on our platform. أنتم جزء من حركة ريادة تكنولوجيا مالية عالمية لكنكم انطلقتم من هنا من دبي هل انطلقتم بتكنولوجيا مستوردة؟ So one of the things that we did do is um, it was very important to us that we built Beehive here in the UAE and in Dubai So all our technology has been built here We don't outsource any of that. We have a team here that builds that. All our processes, operations were built that, uh, built here. And it was important to us to understand the market so that our product and our offering could meet the requirements of the businesses and the investors in this region. 
فزتم مؤخرا بجائزة الديسربتيف أورد التي تعطى للأعمال التي يعتقد أنها ستغير طرق العمل التقليدية في مجلاتها كون منتجاتكم إسلامية هل هذا يعني بأنه يتوقع أن تعطل طرق العمل التقليدية في مجال التمويل الإسلامي؟ We think there's a big opportunity in the Islamic finance space. Um, Islamic finance has been growing rapidly um, over the last few years, but still constitutes a very, very small percentage of global finance. With peer-to-peer -peer and some of those principles of risk sharing rather than risk transfer, we think there is a lot of synergy between Islamic finance and peer-to-peer uh, -peer platforms. And we think that is something that we can take into various different markets, open up various uh, asset classes, for some of the uh, Islamic finance uh, liquidity and really bring together uh, through a community platform that opportunity to tie up liquidity with demand in the Islamic space. So essentially opening up SME lending in, 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 in that uh, space. If you think about traditionally for a lot of uh, Islamic uh, funds, then uh, they were looking at sukuks or, or, or those type of uh, products and those products were quite difficult to get access to. What we're trying to do is open up the uh, universe, if you like, of um, in the conventional center lending products but fixed income type products and bring those uh, to a wider market. So it can be an SME finance first of all, we can then expand into maybe property or d different other areas. And in terms of markets, there's a big potential Uh, not only just within the UAE, but within the wider GCC and the MENA region, as well as Southeast Asia. So we see almost that corridor between Southeast Asia coming up through uh, the Middle East and then going up into Europe as well.